Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a DIY project that I think a lot of us can do and this is my first time trying it so it's going to be pretty fun. I'm going to be removing this POS vanity which my wife hates and I hate it too uh, especially since you know the door fell off the other day it broke and I figure I'm not going to try to fix that. So we're going to be taking out this old vanity, taking out this medicine cabinet and then we're putting a new vanity in. So we're gonna go through the steps really quick that I'll be doing. Uh, first thing I'll do, we're gonna take off these doors. Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go under here. Let me show you quick. And we're going here, and with the water running, I'm gonna turn off, turn off the source right here, okay? Then my next step will be to remove this pipe, remove these hoses. I'm gonna take off these doors and then I'm going to remove the top because that's going to make it a lot easier and a lot lighter when we take this off. And once I have the top off, there's only one screw in the back of this one holding it in place. So I'll take off that screw and we should be fine. Uh, and again, as I go through this whole process, I'm going to be narrating what I do. So don't think like you have to catch everything right now, but I'm just kind of catching you, going you through, going through uh, what we're doing. So that's really it. Uh, we're going to get started. So stick around. Place a bowl underneath the P-trap in order to catch any water that spills. Grip the P-trap firmly with one hand and rotate each nut counterclockwise. You must unscrew two nuts in order to use an adjustable wrench to loosen the faucet hose at the top. Once it breaks free, you should be able to loosen this with your fingers. There may be a little water, so have a bucket ready in the event that anything spills. Now, once you have that one off, you're going to move on to the next one and do the exact same thing. As you see here, I just put the adjustable wrench up there, break it loose, a little water comes out, catch that, I get my hand up there and screw it, all set. All right, moving on to the bottom of the faucet hoses. You just take a wrench, break them free, and then you should be able to unscrew them by hand. Now, often these are corroded because, you know, we don't replace these that often. And if that is the case, you can use some WD-40 or similar lubricant, spray it on the nut, wait for that to break it free a little bit, and then get in there with the wrench and you should be good to go. Another thing I like to do in these instances is place a towel down around the base where I'll be working. It just prevents any excess water from spilling, which just leads to a mess. And when you finish up, you have a couple options with these hoses. If you bought new ones for the rest of your install, Awesome, throw these out. If you're going to keep using them, if they're in good shape, then just set them to the side and get ready to move on. Now I have to be honest, this part was definitely fun, but it also served a purpose. Uh, one of the reasons we took the doors off is because I didn't know how hard this was gonna to be to remove from where it's located, so I thought that would give us a better grip and less obstruction. You take the sink off because the sink weighs quite a bit and in doing that it makes your job a lot easier so just take a pry bar stick it underneath the sink take a hammer slam it in there work your way around you'll hear the silicone or whatever material they use to bond it start to break and as you can see here i lifted it right off um, if it's a really heavy sink top make sure you get some help uh, otherwise just take it off move it to the side and get ready to remove that vanity Okay, so far, like I said, we've disconnected the water lines. As you can see, we got the P, the P pipe or whatever that's called. If you know what the name is, please tell me. Anyway, um, I took the two screws out of here, ripped the doors off. So now all I'm gonna do is, in theory, lift this up a little and slide it out, all right? So that's exactly what I did. Now what I'll do with this next is I'm just gonna put this out on the side of my house. I got a trash day this week. I will put that out and the city will pick it up and smash it to pieces, all right? So this was how I removed the vanity. Now next I'm gonna take the mirror off. I'll show you that, but that's actually really simple if you wanna come see. Um, two screws here, all right, boom and boom. I'll pop those off uh, and we'll take this down right now actually and we'll get that out of here too. And that's it, medicine cabinet off. Look at that. Wow, That's actually a discovery. Cool. So this house was built in like 1940. Uh, sadly, there's no treasure in here right now, but maybe <laughs> as I look deeper in, we'll find an artifact. All right, so stick around. The next phase 
is going to be cutting the baseboard down below so I can fit in the 36 inch vanity that we're, we're doing today. So stick around, we'll be back. All right, so I ran into a little snag. Uh, most houses, and actually it's not really a snag, I anticipated this. Um, anyway, most homes you're gonna have, you know, your plumbing's gonna come out through here and go right through this huge hole in the back. Well, you know, this house, it's old, as we found with the Chester Copper Pot uh, treasure trove here, which had nothing in it. Anyway, I just took a circular saw and I measured how far back I needed to go and I cut holes here and here and this is just cheap fiberboard, so really it wasn't that difficult, all right? Um, if you're comfortable doing that, great. Otherwise, I would say purchase one that you don't have to do any modifications. But again, you guys, if you're familiar with my channel, I don't mind doing stuff like this. It was actually pretty easy. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to lift this up and we're going to place it over this plumbing. And then we'll get all set up from there, all right? So stick around. Okay, so let's take a look at what we did to make this work. Uh, when I tried to slide it over with just the holes cut and not the back cut out, it really didn't work too well. Uh, the pipes were getting kind of pushed out of the way and that wasn't safe. So I cut the backs out. I put a few nails in there to hold it together. You can criticize it if you want. But the way I look at it is this, man. A lot of crazy things are done to your house um, throughout its lifetime to make things work. This isn't that big of a deal. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a drill, put a couple pilot holes through here and here. And I'm going to screw this into the wall here. And the reason you want to screw this in, I mean, yeah, it feels pretty secure right now. But you think you're going to put a heavy sink on top of here. And then if you have kids, they're going to be up on here, right? That's just how it goes. Someone might pull it, things like that. So you don't want it falling over. Um, I mean, just think of the damage. You could hurt somebody or all this water damage that could happen if your pipes rip out. So like I said, we're going to do this. And once I do that, we'll move on to putting the lid on, the sink, and we'll go from there. Before drilling your pilot holes, make sure you have located where the studs are that you plan on screwing into, or make sure you have some sturdy anchors that you'll be placing in there to hold the vanity in place. Once you have the pilot holes drilled, all you're gonna do is use your drill or an impact driver to screw the screws into place and hold the vanity up against the wall. I will say that using an impact driver made this job much easier than had I used a conventional drill. We are getting closer to finishing this up. Uh, what you need to do now before you secure the, the sink into place is you need to attach the faucet. Now, if you weren't aware of that, you need to buy a faucet whenever you install a new vanity. They don't come with them, at least not the ones I can afford. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the faucet. We're gonna hook up the drain stop. After that, I will secure the top onto here with silicone, and then we will hook up the lines, the P-trap, and we'll be all good to go from there, all right? So I'll get this set up while I hook this up, but basically you're just putting this faucet on here. As you can see, it drops right into place. All right, you hook that into there. And then if you go underneath uh, in the back, you should be able to see, yep, see where they come in right there, all right? So that's where we're gonna be hooking it up. And then just stand by, we'll get to work. From under the sink, attach the nuts that came with the faucet in the respective places and begin to screw them in place. Uh, it might be kind of awkward from under the sink, but you'll get there and just remember to screw these as tight as you can by hand. You'll feel them pulling really tight against the gasket that's up above and leave it at that. Don't bring a wrench or anything in to tighten it because I feel that will over tighten it and it could damage the faucet. The gasket could lead to leaks and other problems later. Okay, so I got the faucet put onto the sink. I've moved that out of the way. So what I'm going to do now is put down some silicone just in four corners here, maybe a little spot right here and back here. And we're gonna put this on here so I can secure the sink down. Now, try not to put too much down, but also don't worry, just keep a wet rag with you. So if there's any spillover anywhere, just wipe it off, you should be fine. Uh, what you'll do is, like I said, you'll put those spots of silicone down and then you'll bring your lid over and you will secure it onto here, which is a two person job, unless you're awesome and super strong. So anyway, Let's just put some silicone down here and get to work.
Once you've applied the silicone, bring in the top, line it up, and set it down into place. You'll probably have to line it up a little more, and once you do that, have a wet rag in hand in case any silicone spills over, and you're good to go. All right, so in order to get a good seal here, follow the directions that come with your faucet. I took some plumber's putty, rolled it into a snake, and then I wrapped it around the top of the drain per the manufacturer's directions. Another method I've used in the past is to wrap it just around the drain of the sink itself, the hole of the sink itself. Either way, you're gonna put the snake there or around the hole. And once it's secured in place, uh, you'll take all the accessories, make sure they're all connected, make sure everything's where it needs to be. And you're gonna take the assembly, uh, the flange I believe it's called, and you're gonna put that down below. All right, get that into place. And you're gonna take the top here, you're gonna screw it in where it belongs. And then on this one, there is a gasket that I slid up into place below and then I tighten the nut. And what that does is it pulls all the pieces together. The rubber gasket creates the seal. Plumber's putty will start to kind of come out of the sides and fill in where it needs to go. Clean off the extra plumber's putty and you're all set. As you can see here, I'm just wrapping up, uh, assembling the drain. So what you're doing here is I'm going to put this piece in here. It has a little ball joint. Uh, I'm gonna secure that tight. I'm gonna hook it up to the handle behind it. And this is gonna lift the drain up and down when I fill it with water or drain the water. Pretty simple. Okay, we're getting closer. What we're gonna do now is, like you see here, we've got everything hooked up for the faucet. We tested out the drain, that works. Uh, it goes up and down the drain stopper. So now we're going to hook up our water lines. Now, before you start doing this project, you should definitely measure the length of the faucet hoses you will need. I made the mistake of not doing that and I had to go back and buy new ones. Either way, put Teflon tape going the direction of the threads where you'll be screwing these in and tighten them down by hand as far as you can and then use a wrench and secure them the rest of the way. Once you have connected the bases, move on to the top, and just like I showed you earlier how to remove them, repeat the process to put them on. Uh, tighten them up, get them as tight as you can by hand, use an adjustable wrench to cinch them up, and you should be good to go. Also, make sure you're using Teflon tape on the threads up top, and make sure it's going in the same direction as the threads. All right, let's have a look. So we've got our water lines in there. And I'm not gonna lie, I use the old lines. I have to go get new ones because I did not measure and they were too short. So there you go, we got them hooked up at the top. All right, so now the moment of truth, we're gonna have my wife turn it on. All right, yeah, so don't drink the water right out of there. Let's turn on the other one, it's just charcoal, I think. There you go, all right, water's coming out. My wife is very happy, and if we look up here, no water leaks, all right? So we're good. Okay, so that was how you take out your old vanity and you put out a new one. So we took out a 30 inch and we put in a 36 inch. I would say all things considered, it went really smooth. We did run into some hiccups. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that's just how my life is. I did not plan any of this, but sometimes things happen. We rolled with it. We cut the cuts we need to, to cut. So that we're a lot. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're good. We're gonna put the handles back on. You saw me run the water. Everything's good to go. So what I'll do in this video is in the description, I'll list all the tools that I used and all the tools that you're gonna need. And if you think this video helped you or you laughed at it or anything like that, make sure to like and subscribe because I will have more of these. Um, this house we're trying to fix up to sell and we're going to move into a new one. So more projects. Thanks a lot. Take it easy.